If there are 1.2 HTP engines, 54 to 69 horsepower, today that serve well, it is either due to careful operation at predominantly low loads, or due to careful maintenance, or due to numerous and expensive design changes undertaken by the manufacturer over time production. The main problem with a three-cylinder engine is oil temperature. It has fewer heat exchange surfaces, which means more cooling problems for the same power. As a result, carbon deposits form, from which everything suffers. The consequences can be fatal. Surprisingly, except for near-death conditions, HTP engines never took oil. Problem 1.2 VTI High oil consumption, on the contrary, is the main problem of Peugeot EB series naturally aspirated engines. Three-cylinder 1.2-liter engines designated VTI, 72 to 83 horsepower, came in 2012 to replace the once very reliable naturally aspirated 1.1 and 1.4. Some of the 1.2 VTI consume a lot of oil and then the rings get stuck and the pistons and cylinders get damaged. Others are quite healthy, but you won't be able to tell which ones when you buy them. The problem of oil consumption also occurs in the derivative from 1.2 to 1.0 VTI, 68 horsepower. In Europe, the manufacturer is willing to pay for repairs if caked piston rings are detected until 150,000 kilometers or five years are reached. In Denmark this is even a mandatory right of the client. PSA Group does not have a general database for commercial repairs, customer paid service. Therefore, when purchasing a car, insist on the original service book and copies of invoices. Stories that this can be tracked electronically in a proprietary service are tales from outbids. So why do some engines break down and others don't? It's all about operation. The rings bake under high load, especially if the engine is immediately turned off after driving fast. And if the oil is old, it dissolves deposits less well and, in addition, cools poorly. In modern engines, cooling is more important than the load-bearing capacity of the oil film. So while naturally aspirated 1.2 VT engines can handle older specifications, e.g. PSA B712296, with SAE 5W40 viscosity, the newest B712312 with SAE 0W30 will penetrate the ring piston joints better and cool critical areas better. I have good news for you, now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet, we have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro, here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car, you will learn all this on, carme.pro. The main thing that good engines have in common is frequent oil changes. Apparently, piston ring sticking occurs suddenly because high oil consumption occurs without warning. If this affects you, do not operate the engine any further, but go to a service center. Before the piston ring lock has time to machine a groove in the cylinder, all that needs to be done is to remove the head, pull out the pistons, clean them of carbon deposits and replace the rings. Do not machine the seating surfaces of the cylinder head and block. Some mechanics do this just in case. Engines that have not overheated do not need this. Modern sheet metal gaskets do not leave dents around the cylinders. The problem is that workshops cannot achieve precise machining of the heads. They say that they removed five hundredths of a millimeter, but then it turns out that in some places a whole millimeter was removed. It is better to remove deposits on the head with a wire brush and lightly sand the surfaces. It is interesting and unusual that the manufacturer supplies not only piston rings, but also all other parts for EB series engines. Even the crankshaft bearings, liners, are of different sizes. So if you want to carry out a complete overhaul years later, you can easily do it. The 1.2 from PSA is now being talked about more and more often because of the timing belt. On online forums you can find images of cracked belts, pieces of which fall into the oil pan, clogging the pump's oil intake. This is indicated by a low oil pressure warning. 
sometimes the oil intake strainer cracks. In this case, the oil pump must be replaced, and in supercharged versions, the vacuum pump must be replaced. Turbo engines do not have intake vacuum, so they need a vacuum pump for the brake booster, like diesels. People consider belt failure to be logical for the design used, where the timing belt runs in an oil bath. This is because in conventional engines the belt needs to be dry, and if oil gets on it due to a fault, such as a camshaft seal, it can cause problems. PSA, of course, used an oil-resistant belt, such as those offered by Deco and Contitech, and specified the use of oils that are not too aggressive. Engineers have thoroughly tested a solution that promises low friction and low noise levels. Later, the supplier offered timing belts with an even lower coefficient of friction due to a smooth coating on the outside. If you constantly drive the turbocharged version of the EB engine, 1.2 PureTech 110 or 130 horsepower, for short distances, more gasoline gets into the oil and the belt really begins to break down. Incorrect oil will also accelerate belt wear. The manufacturer has not seen fit to keep records of which vehicles are equipped with a more fragile belt from the factory, so it does not know and cannot change them as a precaution. However, he is ready to bear responsibility for a defect up to 150,000 km and 7 years of age. But again, you must be prepared to provide evidence of service history and use of the prescribed oils. Branded service stations are equipped with a device for measuring the width of the belt, since a worn belt will become wider. Checking the belt width should be part of every regular maintenance. 0.0 VTI 68 horsepower, 106 newton meters, from 2012 to 2016. The leader engine variant has only succeeded in the Peugeot 208 in markets where high volumes are subject to high taxes. It is on Latrushki that the piston rings stick quite systematically, and the buyer of a used car has no need to take risks. The even smaller Peugeot 108 is powered by Toyota's completely different and much more durable 1.03 cylinder. 1.2 VTI 72, 82, 83 horsepower, 110 or 118 newton meters, from 2009. If you do not exceed the speed of 110 km per hour on the highway and change the oil no more than every 10,000 km, then there will be no problems with it. It also handles short city trips well. 1.2 PureTech 110-110 or 115 horsepower, 205 newton meters, since 2015. It all depends on what region it was developed for. So beware of imported cars. Conventional aluminum pistons cannot withstand the low-speed knock LSPI, that plagues all modern turbocharged direct-injection engines today. It is recommended to refuel with 100th gasoline. 1.2 PureTech 130-130 horsepower, 230 newton meters, since 2015. Even for a more powerful engine, the specific design of the pistons depends on the region for which it is intended. Where the French considered the fuel to be of poor quality, the engines were equipped with mall pistons of class 3 forging, which is absolute perfection. Imported cars don't have to be that good. Excessive axial play of the crankshaft 1.2 VTI, only until September 2013. All engines were checked under warranty and defective ones were replaced. Ignition system malfunctions usually due to the spark plugs being too tight and being damaged during installation. The correct tightening torque is 22 newton meters. Destruction of catalytic converters on VT engines. As a result, their parts were sucked into the cylinders and damaged the block. It was usually the first year VT engines that suffered. Often the destruction is due to misfires due to damaged spark plugs. Destruction of spark plug insulators on PureTech engines. Consequence of detonation combustion. It is especially common on units operating for a long time at low loads. Low lubricant pressure, damage to the oil pump, vacuum pump and, in exceptional cases, the turbocharger. Due to the increased content of gasoline in the oil, the timing belt begins to delaminate. 
Its parts clog the oil intake screen of the oil pump, and in some cases the suction basket mesh even ruptured. The disease occurs mainly in turbocharged PureTech versions. High oil consumption. Piston rings become stuck under excessive load and long oil change intervals. Occasionally in 1.2 VTI, systematically in rare 1.0. Loss of compression, cracked pistons. Consequence of detonation combustion in supercharged 1.2 PureTech versions.